Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. I want to ask you a question. What is your first thought or what do you do when the answers don't come? When you have maybe a wayward child, a child that is in rebellion against the Lord and maybe even against you. You might have raised them to the best of your ability and strength in the Lord. You have hoped, you have believed, and you have prayed, but the answer has not come. You have not seen your child or children come home to the Lord. Well, I want to encourage you not to give up. Keep on hoping. Keep on believing. Keep on praying. Even if your child has made poor choices and you have to watch as they reap the consequences of those choices, don't ever give up hope. Continue to believe and continue to pray. Lamentations chapter 2 verse 19 tells us, Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out thine heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up thy hands toward him for the life of thy young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. This scripture tells us to cry out, to pour out our hearts like water before the Lord. The greatest thing that we can do for our wayward child is to pray for him or her. Don't berate yourself as a parent for what you did or did not do. Just keep on praying. Keep the communication lines open between you and your Lord and you and your child as much as possible. And declare God's word for your child. I can tell you personally that God desires and does answer your prayers regarding your children and grandchildren, even if the answer, you know, doesn't come when you leave this world, I am convinced the answer will come. God isn't willing that any perish, and that includes your child or your grandchild. You've heard me tell you many times over this program that my youngest son rebelled against the Lord and basically against life because of a disappointment that he encountered and he drifted away from his faith. I prayed and I sought the Lord for my son for five years. I prayed scripture over him, especially the 51st Psalm. I claimed every scripture that pertained to the salvation of children. Scriptures such as Psalm 103, 17 and 18. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his commandments to do them. Isaiah fifty four thirteen, All your children shall be taught of the Lord and by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. Not only did I pray for my son, but I put his name on every prayer list I could and in every prayer box. Depending on the situation your child is in, the greater and uh, the greater and situation and the more intense your prayers, I think, should be. Some children who are involved in drugs or have terrible addictions need intense prayer. They need deliverance, and for them to be delivered, prayer is our weapon. Remember, too, that your fight is not with your child. It is with the enemy of their soul. It is not with flesh and blood. It is with the principalities and the spiritualities and the unseen forces. You know, your child is not your enemy. The enemy behind him is your enemy. Stand strong in prayer until you see a breakthrough in your child's life. David in Psalm 18 verses 37 through 39 said, I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them, and neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. I have wounded them so that they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet, for you have armed me with strength for the battle. David didn't stop until the job was done, and neither should we. 
Don't let disappointment or discouragement over unanswered prayer or looking at your circumstances cause you to stop praying and believing for the deliverance of your children or grandchildren. Remember that God's delays are not his denials. His timing is not our timing. And I believe that sin many times has to run its course in some people's lives. As you pray for your child, don't enable them nor cuddle or coddle them in their sin. We must hate the sin and love the child. And sometimes I believe that our children need to pay for the consequences of some of their actions, and we shouldn't always be bailing them out. During the five years that I stood believing and praying for my son, when we talked, I always communicated love to him, but I didn't condone the sin he was in by pretending like it was okay. I stuck to my convictions, and I counseled him always with the Lord in mind. I know a dear godly woman who stood by her son through his drug addiction for years and bailed him out time and time again to keep him from going to prison. And then during one certain incident with her son, she told me that she verbally heard the Holy Spirit say, don't bail him out of this one. Let him go to prison. She said it was the most difficult thing she had ever done to watch her son go to prison. But she faced him, but she placed him in the hands of the loving Lord. And God changed that young man's life. And he is serving the Lord today. Don't give up, beloved, on your child. Just give him or her totally over to the Lord. And I promise you that he will answer your prayers because and for your child. He loves you today. He loves your children. He loves your grandchildren. And when you invoke God in a situation, beloved, it is never God that gives up in that situation. It is usually us. Don't give up. Don't give in. But keep on. Keep on praying. Keep on believing. And keep on verbalizing the Word of God for your children and your grandchildren. This is faith to live by. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.